so yeah, this is another fan fiction idea, and this is still this is coming hot off the heels of um, <laughs> of basically one of if one of the best Spider-Man movies I've ever seen, No Way Home. Which, if you haven't already, go check out the link below in the description to my Patreon, where the movie review is. Um, you can also see some other exclusive con video content there as well. Now, uh, so this kind of popped into my mind. It was kind of fresh in my head. So I just kind of had the idea of, wouldn't it be cool if we, if there was a story of just, like, not so much, like, uh, like multiversal heroes meeting each other or whatever. More like just, vi I like the part of the villains coming to face the hero. So as you can see right here, this is a Randy Cunningham, My Hero Academia story, but it's not featuring any of the My Hero character, any of the hero characters. This is Randy versus the League of Villains. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a fun one. And it just I just couldn't get it out of my head of the League of Villains fighting another hero. So let's get started with this story. Um... So this story begins with um, Randy at another trip, field trip to McFist Labs with the rest of the class, and it. And I wanted to have like some self-aware stuff. Is like, hey, we always go to field trips with McFist stuff. Why is that? He's like, oh, because he run, he owns everything in the town, so it make it stands to reason he gets it, he could probably he gets all the cool stuff. So that's why the school goes there. He also probably pays for all the fixing for fixing the school, so it's like we owe him. And Randy's like, oh, that makes sense. Still hate the guy though. And this is, like, after Season 2, so Randy has beaten the Sorcerer, and um, he's kind of at a point where he's like, there's really, outside of robots, McFist occasionally sends after me. There's no real threat for me. There's no, like, threat to me, and I'm like, I'm the best ninja. I beat the Sorcerer. I won the day. I beat Evil Julian. I beat the Sorcerer. There's there's no one. Like, there's like aside from the occasional robot attack, there's really nothing left for me to fight. Like, it's just kind of boring being the ninja now, and maybe I can just... The, the source of the... The ninja's time is over. Like, maybe that's it. Maybe I should just hang it up and live a normal life. I've let this cut into my life enough as it is. And he's starting to have a relationship with Teresa, um, or trying to, but it, as with these robot attacks, it's kind of cutting into his life. So now he's like, well... He consults with the Namacon. He's like, look, I won. There's nothing left. Like, even if I stop being the ninja, then these robot attacks will stop too, and Norrisville won't need a ninja. And to which the Namacon replies with, "There will always be need of a ninja, even if the like it's peacetime now. There's no like peacetime doesn't last forever. That's the thing is that someone will come to rec to attack this peace you you've made. So, getting back to the present where we have the um field trip going on and McFist is showing McFist and Vice are showing off a new multi a, a, a kind of like a hadron collider in a way where it's going to like it's the, like the McFist collider where it's going to basically uh create like a new energy source pulling from the very universe itself. I mean if Vice Roy can build a time machine, he can probably build something like this. So when so of course Mc, um Viceroy tells him, look, this wasn't fit, like, maybe we should do a few more tests before trying anything, uh, Hannibal. And he's like, nonsense, Viceroy, switch it on! But sir, switch it on! So they switch it on, and the thing goes haywire, and the ninja actually manages to stop it. But not before it caused some trouble. See... The Collider was actually harvesting energy not from the universe itself, but from another universe. That's what McFist failed to tell them, is like, yeah, it was it was like taking energy from there. And it kind of opened a door to that universe, and it kind of pulled some people off from that universe and landed them here. Those people, the League of Villains. Not all of them, but like the big ones. Shigaraki, Toga, Compress, um, Dobby, Spinner, uh... Magna, and, uh, Muscular. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and twice, too, so it's eight. So you've got eight, me so you've got basically the main eight members of the League of Villains. And essentially, the eight of them are thrown here, um, throughout, like, they're separated, like, they're all separated from one another throughout Norrisville. And the day after, when Randy's like, maybe I should just give up being the ninja, he hears, like, an explosion going on, and, like, there's an attack downtown, 
and what he finds is Dobby in the center of town, like, just causing trouble. Like, he's just conjuring fire and blasting shit. Because for, for him, he knows this is America. Like, he... Because th- there isn't America in the My Hero universe. And he's like, okay, I'm in America. I might as well speak English. I know that. Because they'll understand my demands. Because he starts talking in Japanese, and he's like... Goddamn Americans. Okay, listen, I will use your language. I want to know why you pulled me from Japan to America. And I want to know whose quirk that was that pulled me from Japan to America. Because he thinks he just got pulled from to another country. He doesn't realize he's in another universe. Um, and then the ninja shows up and he's like, Oh, American superheroes, I always wanted to kill one of you. And to which Randy replies with, Hey, um, that's cool and all, but I think you... Uh, hot Topic is that way, sir. <laughs> um, so him and Dobby fight, and he's like, holy shit, I never thought I would fight an actual supervillain. Like he said, like, like Randy's thinking to himself, I fought like robots and monsters, and Catfish is kind of a supervillain, but I've never fought like a full-on costume supervillain with a guy with flame powers. So Randy barely gets away from him, and that's when... Uh, Dobby realized, like, Dobby's talking to him, he's like, when Randy's, like, Randy's just macking on, like, a typical Spider-Man story, where he's like, so what's your name, man? Hot Streak? Uh, Pyro? And he's like, my name's Dobby. And he's like, no, 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 what's your real name? Like, uh, and the, fun, like, Randy plays on that, he's like, so you're a big Harry Potter fan, okay. And then, like, there's a scene, I wanted to have a scene where they're fighting, and they land in a, la- they la- end up in a laundromat, and Randy grabs... <laughs> A thing of, like, a sock, and he puts it over his hand. He's like, I've gifted Dobby with a sock. <laughs> you know, I've gift, I've gave uh, the gift of a sock, and he just punches Do- uh, Dobby with it. There's your only joke for Harry Potter. That's the only Harry Potter thing I know. Uh, my Harry Potter limited knowledge is limited, but hey, I made the Dobby joke. <laughs> anyway. So, Dobby gets away. Randy is, like, beat up because he's like, holy shit, I didn't expect that. And that's when the other villain, like, Shigaraki is slowly finding the other villains throughout Norrisville, and he tells them, Hey, so, I found out that I did some digging, rather than, you know, go out and cause a scene, like someone did. Um, but, I found out, I, I tried to contact the, our, I tried to reach out to our contacts in Japan, they're not there. There's no su- superheroes in Japan. We're not on, our, I don't think we're on our Earth. I don't think we're just not in Japan. I don't think we're on our Earth at all. So, we're gonna find out what happened. So, eventually, like, Viceroy, at the same time, Viceroy is telling McFist, Hey, so, I found out some anomalies, um, after our little test went wrong. I found out that there were some anomalies that happened, and we have a problem. Um, yeah. There's some, some people got through. So McFist with the Robo Apes goes out, finds them, and asks the after seeing them on TV, because they, they, they watch the news on Heidi's webcast of Dobby's fight with the ninja, and he's like, idea! So he brings all the villain, he has the Robo Apes come out and find the, the League of Villains, brings them he, to him, and he's like, hey, so I'm McFist, I'm the guy who accidentally brought you, he's like, uh... The ninja brought you here. Yes, totally the ninja brought you here. And if you want to go back home, you have to kill him. Like, And they're like, okay, so what's his quirk? And they're like, come again? Quirk. Qu- superpower. Oh, he doesn't have superpowers. He's like, he has, like, it's, uh, we. he doesn't have superpowers. Does he have superpowers? Well, he kind of does and doesn't. And they're like, ta- like, Vice Ryan McFist bring that up because they don't realize it's the mask that gives them powers. And even, like, when Dobby was fighting the ninja, he's like, I've never fought someone with, what's your quirk, elemental? Because he's using, like, the air fist and the phoenix fire. And he's like, so what's your quirk? Like, Dobby's like, so what's your quirk there, kid? Uh, Elemental powers? Can you copy people's abilities? Like, what are you talking about? All my power, uh, um, I don't have superpowers. He's like, ugh, it could have fooled me, man. So, even, uh, like, like, McFist... And Viceroy, like, have noted that the ninja has all these powers, but they don't realize he's not metahuman. So he's like, is that what you call superpowers in your Earth? And he's like, yeah, we have superpowers um, on our Earth. They're called quirks. So, yeah. What do you want? So we, so the, and then they were like, they piece together because Shigaraki's not an idiot. He's like, so I'm just going to come out and say it. 
I know you, you the ninja didn't do this. this ninja guy he he didn't do this you did um and, and to which McFist is like what what no I didn't bring you here he's like no no it was your tech because I'm looking at the thing now I'm looking at the machine now and it says McFist collider uh, the McFist collider uh yeah. <laughs> so you want Eddie uh, to which Shigaraki's like, so let me cut to the chase. Um, you want me, uh, um, you want us to kill the ninja for you, this ninja guy for you, and then you'll let us back home, right? And McFist is like, yeah, totally. So get to killing, guys. You know, you guys want your freedom. And, and to which Shigaraki's like, no, <laughs> we like it here, like. Because you just gave us the best opportunity. We hate the heroes in our universe. And, like, I thought about for a second of just going back home. But, like, what's the point, really? Like, who, who's there waiting for us? No one. We're the out. The villains are, like, out our social outcasts in our world. Here, like, it's a fresh slate. There's one hero out of a sea of others. And maybe there are other char other people out there. We'll deal with them at some point. But, like... There's no one here, like, aside from the ninja, there's no heroes here. This is paradise. <laughs> like, if we take out that one thing, we'll be living like king. It, like, we can just stay here, and to which McFist is like, what? <laughs> yeah, uh, so Shigaraki and the rest of the Villain League go out. Now they're just like, we'll just stay here. Like, we'll just stay in Norrisville. We'll, we'll call the shots. So, meanwhile, at the same time, um, Randy's freaking out because now he's realized that there are more villains out there. So now he's, and he, there's no other, there's no one coming. There's, uh, if you're thinking, like, at some point, oh, this is the part where, like, he gets other superheroes from across the world or the multiverse. No, this is Randy by himself. This is Randy all by his lonesome taking on the League of Villains. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, so... At this point, Randy's like, I don't know what to do. And he's never fought... He, Let alone, Dobby was tough. But then he faces all eight supervillains together. And he's, like, doing the Spider-Man thing of quipping with the other ones. Like, he, he's encountering Spinner. He's like, so what episode... So what ma chapter of ma from the Naruto manga are you from? Oh. <laughs> um. Then he's talking to, like, uh, Toga. And he's like, uh, sorry, I haven't played uh, Corpse Party. I don't know you. I, don't ha I haven't reached your character yet. Shigaraki, you look like an emo kid. Did y'all just meet up in a Hot Topic or Spencer's, and that's where your lair is in your universe? Um, but if, on the in, then he gets his ass hand, handedly handled, handed to him by all eight villains. Um, because, yeah, it's it's one on eight. Of course he's Randy was going to get his ass handed to him. So he gets, gets away. Howard and Teresa find him, patch him up, and... Randy has to consult the Namacon on facing villains from another universe. And he's like, look, I'm sorry, I didn't... I thought, you know, I didn't realize I would actually fight these monsters. I didn't think that these guys would be, uh, uh, like, exist. I never thought I'd fight supervillains. And, he, and, and he's like, don't even say I told you so about the whole peacetime thing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to hear it. So eventually Randy, like... Um, Namakon has to like do some speed training with Randy in order to have him face off with the others, and he believe like not the Namakon believes that maybe there could be a way through the Namakon to send them back. Like you could send uh, send them send all the villains back or kill them. Like maybe this could be like there could be a way because they're so dangerous. Maybe it's best if we kill them. And to which Randy's like, I am not a murderer. Um. So, and then, it, like, Randy kind of thinks about it. He's like, you know, these guys, like, they all look like outcasts, and they look like they got a bad rap, so maybe I should, like, try to talk to them. And he tries to. He does kind of talk to them. He's like, whoa, you guys, to, like, I'm just, the super, I'm just a hero who has no beef against you. You know, we can work things out. You don't want to go home? Fine. You can just, you can just exist here. You can just exist. You don't have to worry about it. You can become superheroes. And then he's like, oh, I just said the trigger word. And that sets them off big time. It's like, be here. Fuck this guy. So, yeah. 
So by the end of it, um, with McFist and uh, McFist and Viceroy's help, they managed to th get all the villains back in the League of Villains and send them back to their universe. Um, and Randy at that point's like, I'm going to keep being the ninja because now I realize that I can't stop being the ninja. And the whole thing is like, ter like he, te but there's one thing I'm going to do. He already, like, I already told Howard, so I'm going to tell Teresa, to which the Namakon's like, you should not do that. You know, I've been like the like the first ninja who is representing the Namakons. Like, I was very lenient with you being with it, like letting your best friend know, but like two is too many. So no, and he's and Randy's like, this is what's going to happen. Like, if you want me to keep being the ninja, um, you need to let me f do this myself. And yeah, so he tells Teresa, and he's like, look, this is why. I, like, it's going to get dangerous. And Teresa's like, I understand. Um, I know you're a good person, and I know you're going, like, the world's going to need, Norseville and the world are going to need you more, especially after what happened with all those villains. Meanwhile, back in the MHA universe, um, uh, Shigaraki is like, well, that was fun, that was, that was something, but now we know the multiverse exists, so, um, what do we do now? And he reports this knowledge to All for One, and All for One's like, "Oh, the multiverse is a real thing." Hmm. Gonna have to get to work on that. So yeah, leaving the door open for a sequel. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much uh, my MHA Randy Cunningham story. You guys tell me in the comments below what did you guys think of it? Um, did you guys like it? Hate it? Comment below. Let me know. And once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.